The Picasso Company's crank gun factory are represented by IAM. They recently received the need to fill a first shift leader position. This need resulted in a petition that was initiated by the employees on first shift. The factory manager, I am human Sharon resources Murphy, manager and the first shift employees both company. produced a list of qualifications My role for the first is to shift build leader. Case After reviewing the issues lists that were several presented, several sets of similarities were In recognized. this presentation, both I will describe the overall that case, the ideal candidate should be a position on the issue. To whom provide other research that supports our position and who would and troubleshoot finally, and offer I will suggestions to do whatever was necessary and make case content and main points of the case. Content. Following the selection of a first shift leader, Robert Elder has filed a grievance stating that the company has failed to consider his seniority in filling the position with a junior employee. As human resources manager, I am responsible for repairing the case to show that the company did not violate the contract by hiring manager younger instead of the more tenured employee elder. Main points. Number one, a first shift leader was hired from two candidates. Number two, Mary Younger was hired instead of Robert Elder, who is the more tenured employee. And three, Robert Elder filed a grievance claiming that the contract was violated by the company's failure to consider his seniority. My position on the issues and why. As a human resources manager, my position is that the company did not violate the contract by hiring younger opposed to elder. Although the contract language does state that the hiring decision should be based on seniority, it also states that it should be based on the ability to perform the available work. It is correct that Elder is the more senior employee. However, he is unable to perform some of the duties that are required to perform the job. Based on issues with flexibility and communication as demonstrated in his role as third shift leader. The case question. As the human resources manager, develop a case for your contention that the selection of Mary Younger did not violate the contract. The selection of Mary Younger did not violate the contract. The contract was not violated, but while seniority was considered in the selection of the first shift leader, the leader was also selected based on their ability to perform the available work. Robert Elder was not selected to fulfill the role, not based on a disregard to his seniority, but based on his inability to perform the available work. This conclusion was based on past issues with flexibility and communication while employed as a third shift leader, as well as his responses to the questions in the interview regarding the requirements of the job. Supporting research. The specific language from the contract of Picasso's company cited seniority and ability to perform the available work as the criteria for fulfilling available positions. According to Yates, seniority by itself cannot be used as the sole criterion for making promotions, transfers, and layoffs, but it should be given some consideration. As a human resources manager, I am fully aware that the union must represent Elder in his grievance. In Smith v. Husband Refrigerator Company, the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit, sitting in back, held that a union's failure to represent successful job bidders in grievances filed by fellow employees with more seniority, while were denied promotion for the same jobs, constitutes a breach of this duty for fair representation. In a court case involving a similar claim, the grievance was not substantiated because the company's contract contained language similar to that of Picasso's company. The collective bargaining agreement between Hussman and the union included a modified seniority clause, which specifically permitted Hussman to weigh an employee's seniority and merit in affording all promotions under the collective bargaining agreement. Consequently, the court held that the union was obligated to comply with the company's decision and not challenge the promotion of the basis of seniority alone. According to Black and Parker, 
Both firms and unions tend to favor a seniority-based layoff rule where the worker with the least tenure is laid off first. This is also true in the case of promotion. Kemp and Leonard remark on how purely seniority-based unions come with flaws. It may be wondered how a seniority-based union can survive if it only secures employment for only half of its members. According to the article districts targeting teacher seniority in union contracts, a highly innovative contract approved in 1997 in Seattle removed most seniority privileges for district educators and allowed teams of teachers and administrators at each school to choose new hires. Plan of action. My plan of action would be to follow the grievance procedure of the company. Despite the specific format of the grievance procedure, it would be my role to prepare a response to Elder's grievance. In my response, I will outline his complaint and then respond to the complaint by explaining that the two criteria for selection in the job is both seniority and the ability to perform the job. I will then explain the requirements of the job and explain that seniority was considered in a selection process but we made our selection based on the ability to do the job as well. I would specifically list flexibility and communication and interpersonal skills as requirements of the job. In conclusion, it is expected that grievances may be filed by more tenured employees who are not selected at a company in which seniority is included as a criteria for awarding job bids. However, it is important to educate employees in situations where seniority and ability are a part of the criteria. In this situation, my position is that the company did not violate the contract, and as human resources manager, I am prepared to document on the interview process as well as the research to defend my position.